Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Goodell and Henry Eyes. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us in this, the first guest interview that we are doing for the Newgrounds podcast. For anybody who doesn't know, this podcast is uh, is all about Newgrounds, as you can tell from the name. So uh, we're doing news episodes and we're doing guest interviews. This is the first guest interview, and we're joined by... Me. Hi. I'm Weave... We, which... We, fuck. I'm going to get to that. I'm Weave Joe, or Weave Retro. I want to talk about the pronunciation as soon as we start. <laughs> that is the first thing that I have listed on my piece of paper that's sitting in front yeah, of me. So... We got to talk about that. I know that there are people who, I, I suspect Henry Eyes included in the first episode of this show, and who, little boss, uh, yeah. you mispronounced your name, so why don't you go ahead and tell us how, how you intend for it to be pronounced. How I originally intended. Like, when you guys used to shout me out on the older podcast, I originally had my username, like, pronounced as Wevetra, which, which I was having a struggling earlier with, because I recently decided, after seeing numerous people just say it as Wavetro, I've officially given up. There's no official way to pronounce it. You could say Wavetro, you could say Wevetro, just, yeah. That's how you say it. I did notice after we had started shouting you out on crickets that uh, yeah that you had put your description or your, like your bio comments I don't know what it's called on on your Newgrounds page as a mm. wavetro and then like a pronunciation guide where you capitalized yeah. the v e I think you even put an h in there yeah. so it's like yep <laughs> really trying to stress it yep and it was like just uh, I just decided to just take that out because. People just say wave Joe, so you know what? It's just fucking wave Joe now. Well, you know, just just know that I did my best. I, I tried to say wave Joe as much as possible so that other people would catch on, but it, it didn't work, so wave you're, you're wave Joe now. Deal with it. Yeah, I, it's fine. That's fine. All that matters is that if you could just spell it by hearing the name, that's that's all that counts. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. So we, we've we talked about your, your name and how it's pronounced. How did uh, yep. how'd you come up with it? I really just wanted... Uh, name that is uh like it's just really short and doesn't have numbers or symbols in it so i think i was just mess messing around with like letters one day and i accidentally found that if i kind of swapped the first half of retro and the second half of wave which is like this fucking genre i listen to way too much and then i take out like the first stars like oh hey that's that's a new word wave retro which i said at the time now wave i was like okay that that sounds like a name that's sort of like pixar doesn't mean anything but once you look it up it's like oh it's just fucking crackhead with a <laughs> doing 3d <laughs> right so it's really just meant to be like a, a nonsense word that like if you hear it you can just like type it and then you'll find all my shit so that's very deliberate design i like uh i like what's going on in the chat synth wave retro vapor yeah, wave retro, posting synth wave, yeah. retro wave retro it's good stuff <laughs> all right thank you we can uh we can go ahead and move on from your name now then yeah got that out of the way <laughs> got that out of the wave retro anyway um <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about uh, Newgrounds. This is a Newgrounds show. We're here to talk about Newgrounds. Of course. So mm-hmm. you are approaching uh, your one year with your account, your one year anniversary with the with Wave of Trail yes. and Newgrounds. Um, that's coming yes. up in about two weeks. Do you mm-hmm. have any uh, reflections about your, your first year with this account? Uh, I would like to say that, like, uh, when I first joined Newgrounds and started posting my stuff on here, I didn't really know what to expect. And that's what, like, fucking completely surprised me as 2019 went on. Because, like, what did, what did it start? It started out with you guys finding me. And I was like, wait, holy shit, there's, there's, there's people, there's people on this, no offense, there's people on the site. And there's, they're actively browsing it every single day. Holy shit. This is, this is ama- amazing. And then, like, and then people, and then I started very seeing, tiny. like, oh, yeah, people still make stuff on here too. I'll post my stuff. And then all of a sudden, people started looking. It's just sort of like this sort of feedback loop. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. This site is still going. Holy shit. And so now, like, fast forward to now where it just passed. 666 fans on the fucking profile page i'm just like wow holy shit i i I love you beautiful people you know sorry if that all sounded all really garbled but it's really the best way i can sum that all up is i'm i'm kind of overwhelmed at at the how strong the community still is so to anyone still who tuned in here because you know you're here for new grounds thank you thank you for keeping the site going that's not the first time that you've uh shared that sentiment actually uh because in april of 2019 so only like you know two three months into having this account you and you only had like 50 followers at the time you had uh Mm -hmm. and i think you'd only uploaded two things 
Um, yeah. You posted, a, you made a news post thanking the community and Tom specifically for front paging uh, Roofbin, Roofbinoof. Oh yeah, the fucking, the green thing walking in the grocery store. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. So that's, uh, it, I totally don't expect that, yeah. Yeah, in that, in that post you had said um, that you, af- after that, after it had been uh, tweeted by the official Newgrounds account, that uh, mm-hmm. you realized that you were meant to be here part of the army so yeah what what is it about newgrounds that uh that got you to that point and sort of made you stick around what you know is it is it the community not gonna lie a big part of it was actually getting noticed by i guess i'm assuming tom fulp and phantom arcade are the ones who decide what goes on the front page that was kind of like a big thing at first because like you know since they run this site and the fact they like saw saw what i did and said yes this deserves to go on the front page because i was kind of scared that my 3d stuff my 3d stuff was which while i gotta say it looks nice to a degree it's not like fucking pixar or anything and i thought i wouldn't i would be kind of just like brushed off because i'm not i'm not that amazing with it but the fact that like i saw like Tom Fulton, Phantom Arcade, go, yeah, yeah, you know what, you're, you're good enough for this site. And then, like, everyone else, like, started leaving reviews saying, yeah, I, we like this, we want you. And I was like, oh my God, they want me here. And then from there, the, the, the love of the site went from, you know, just having this community stick around and just having this one place left on the internet where no YouTube or no Twitter can, like, shoot you down for being creative. Yeah, I was going to ask you, um, what actually brought you to, to Newgrounds in the first place? Well, that, that's a great segue into a link, my first link that I want to drop in chat, which is my old Newgrounds, right? Cause I tried, I originally tried to post on Newgrounds. I posted two videos. And then the reason I didn't stick around is because no one saw them. <laughs> Cause the pro, the, I guess the problem was that, you know, on top of me still trying to figure all my shit out was that, uh, I was, I was, I, I was spent a very, very long time just trying to figure out what kind of, what my video format. And I was pouring way too much energy into like a video idea that really wasn't worth it in the long run. So it was really just kind of like an awkward development phase, but it did cross my mind earlier to just like try posting my stuff on Newgrounds. But there was that scary barrier of like thinking, oh, if if uh, Newgrounds is very if you if you're not like amazing with the quality or put every single uh pour pour out your heart and soul in every single frame of your animation you're just gonna get two starred and just thrown to the back of the bus or something and, but uh I've of course learned that you, Newgrounds is actually you know pretty welcoming as long as you do your best in your videos you know you don't have to be like this amazing like fucking artist who knows every single thing about anatomy every single thing about compositing and color grading or whatever you know because it's just about yeah. the community not not so much just the the strict quality thing. Newgrounds really is like that. Like if people see that you've uh, put effort into what you've made, then uh, they adjust their uh, rating mm-hmm. uh, accordingly. Like uh, the uh, everything that gets blammed, it's either it has to be specifically very trash, or you it's people can see uh, that you clearly haven't put effort into it. Yeah, I love how Newgrounds makes because of the way it's designed. Yeah. On the one hand, they they'll still let you let let you in and not be blammed if you uh put effort in your videos but at the same time because they still have that system in place it thankfully scares away the people who just drop their fucking youtube videos going top 20 scariest <laughs> moments from spooky matches watch mojo.com number 15 that sort Thank of shit you. right for for audio listeners for like the, the the link i just dropped to my old newgrounds if you want to look at that desolate place it's robot underscore dot newgrounds dot com where you spell out the word underscore yeah okay yeah i also noticed uh you just posted a news post 27 minutes ago yeah. saying are you still here that's cool but i'm here now you link your yeah. new wave truck yeah I'd, I'd make sure to do that bringing in all those 12 <laughs> followers yep all 12 of them you know <laughs> so everybody go follow robot underscore get robot underscore no don't you dare. <laughs> get him get him up there Fuck. top 50 <laughs> grounders. Shit. i'm following right now and you should too <laughs> <laughs> so uh you you kind of touched on something that i wanted to address a little bit more um and that's yeah. sort of um part of like this uh dichotomy about the the way that communities work um and mm-hmm. that dichotomy being that of the community of of youtube content creators and content consumers and you know the newgrounds community because i noticed mm-hmm. that on on youtube you've got you've got more subs you have more followers on youtube mm. Uh, than you do on Newgrounds. Yeah. However, you get yeah. generally you get more views on your Newgrounds uploads than you do yes. on your YouTube videos. So, uh, mm-hmm. and I thought that was interesting. Also, I do want to just add the one like big exception to that is uh, mm-hmm. is Dat Boy. Where is Dat Boy now? Oh, that fucking video. Yeah. The problem with that video was that here's uh, a, if, if you don't mind me going a quick segue a bit real quick about posting about trying to put your videos on Reddit. 
to get noticed, it's it's a fucking you don't do it anymore because ever since Reddit put a embedded video player inside the website so you can actually don't leave the website to go subscribe to the YouTube channel, it's just been pointless to post videos on there to get discovered because all those views are empty. Everyone saw through the Reddit website, upvoted the guy who posted it, and then never went to my actual channel. So it's just this fucking plague of empty views. So I like to think that video never really blew up in a way, but you know. Yeah, it's, it's there. Yeah. So what what do you think that says about the difference between, you know, putting your content on YouTube and putting it on Newgrounds? For YouTube, uh, I guess like, you know, the, the big problem with like how, the problem that people usually that like prefer Newgrounds over YouTube. One of their gripes is that uh, YouTube really prefers co- uh, qu- quantity over quality. Right. So as yeah. So one thing I've noticed is like the I guess the algorithm picking up on top of the fact that it just sometimes does its own wacky thing and recommends a video to like a billion people for like three days and then suddenly stops because it's so fucking weird is that if you post regularly they just start to slowly just give you more like views over time so you really have to like structure your way structure your content in a way that's like regular and I guess abundant in quantity in a way while meanwhile on new grounds because if you get like front paged or, or something or like people are browsing the, the movie section the things there stay longer as opposed to getting buried in all the other shit that goes on the other uh, on the site because there's so much more content on youtube while on new grounds it's all just the same sort of movies art music sort of content so people are more willing to like stop by give things a chance and you know interact with it more if that kind of makes sense. And I guess that's why it has more views because it basically boils down to the fact that your videos don't get buried on Newgrounds while on YouTube, you just, you're just there for two seconds and then you're just gone. Right. Yeah. So, but that's like the problem with YouTube. Like if you want to make it an animation, you have to do something wildly different because like it's, it's not, now, now it's more like there's just like, you probably follow a few couple animators on YouTube that are like, how hopefully have something different that like gets them like more recommended through the algorithm and all that shit as opposed to back then where it's just like oh yeah animated content is everywhere and everyone just loves it i think it's just really just a matter of now that the site's so much bigger and like it just gets drowned by barrier of entry now yeah now on Newgrounds, even if you started your account today you can post something and uh mm. if it's good people will take note if, if it's if it's funny you know it can just get front page yeah, you can like slowly work your way up while meanwhile with youtube you're just kind of like throwing like fucking shit at a brick wall and maybe you'll get like one viewer <laughs> you you say you know. slowly work your way up but i mean you've garnered a pretty good following in not that much time realistically you know it's like like yeah. i said with that with that post you made you only had 50 fans at the time and now you're staring down hundreds of fans so yeah, uh so, that- oh, i was just gonna say so that i think that shows that Newgrounds gives people that opportunity to have that ability to grow that YouTube doesn't mm-hmm. provide. Yeah, it's like I I obviously can't just like take uh just say that like just have ha- just happened by itself. Like a lot of it happened like this profile page hitting 600 fans like in less than a year wasn't was, I have to sh- really shout out just like Tom Fulp and phantom arcade again because like for for whatever reason they've just been consistently putting my stuff on the front page and uh, that just like warms warms the deep knuckles of my heart so much so it's that just because of um just just because i've just gone so lucky with a hot streak of uh front pages doesn't mean that no only people who get front page get like a chance to grow on new ground so that's like the amazing thing about new grounds as of like how every how youtube is so designed now with you really only watch whatever's on your homepage and especially with like how people have been complaining how youtube's trying to nudge you away from subscriptions and trying to mix it in with your recommendations on the homepage. and now it's just a free-for-all to see if you'll ever see another channel from a video from a another video from a channel you, you subscribe to as opposed to like this other stuff that just gets dumped on your youtube homepage, and you have to like find what you want to watch today it's, it's just you know it's just there's just so much of it on youtube but Newgrounds is just the community, and that's what's holding everything together. So on the note of Newgrounds content, uh, I understand that you've got some some specific shout-outs that you'd like to give. You want to do that now? Ooh, this right here, I'd like to shout-out this guy that just joined Newgrounds the other day because I told him to. His name is Ka- Castor, K-A-S-T-O-R, which is K-A-S-T-O-R music.newgrounds.com for his profile. This guy, I've known him for like three years and, go- and counting now, has worked so hard making his music and he's been posting like SoundCloud on YouTube and literally no one has seen him. Seen him, And it's such a shame because he's really good at what he does. And I told him, hey, listen, I think Newgrounds would, would love you because his production quality is insane. So if you, it, his, his music genre isn't for everyone because he does electronic, but if you like, if you like electronic in the slightest, you will love this guy. So please check him out.
Yeah, I was checking him out. Some some really cool dance music. His shit is really high quality because he's like really, 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 really like strict with his like the quality of the stuff he puts out. You know, that sort of like dedication is like the perfect attitude for someone on Newgrounds as opposed to like the other audio sites he's been trying to get on where, you know, there's just so much of other people that he just gets shrugged off. Yeah, they used to be uh, a Newgrounds radio. I'm a bit sad that they uh, made that disappear. Mm. <laughs> I hope it comes back someday. It was something like that. Just uh, you select the genre and it selects, uh, I guess, hot uh, Newgrounds tracks, and then you can listen to those. Mm-hmm. There is, of course, also yeah. Tom's uh, monthly playlists that he does. Um, mm. That's that's a good way to find oh, music yeah. on Newgrounds. So yeah, check out castermusic.newgrounds.com. Oh, absolutely. Please do. K-A-S-T-O-R music.newgrounds.com. He's amazing. You said you wanted to shout out a couple videos, too? You can go ahead and yep, do that. Yep, I got two videos to shout out because of this cool little rabbit hole I fell down the other day while looking for videos. So I found this video called Born to Ride. It just got out of judgment. I'm going to paste it here from this guy and these two people named Deodorant Clock and Queefing Waterfalls. And it it's so bizarre how like I just went on here and it, now those are names. <laughs> yeah, those those are in fact names. I'm sorry if they're like maybe taboo names or if like they're infamous, right? But I I still want to talk about this this thing I just found where it's just like these guys just like make videos in Flash Eight in like 2020, and it's I just watch and I just have no idea what's going on, but I just love every second of it. And you know I I I slowly find out like on the wiki about this thing. Could you guys tell me what the hell Clock Crew is? Okay, the Clock Crew is a group of degenerate. I'm just kidding. No, it's uh, essentially uh, on the Newgrounds groups forum. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody made a uh, uh, the uh, the Clock Crew group. They essentially animate animations with uh, these little clock characters, mm-hmm. where the faces of the characters are made up of clocks. That makes sense. Uh, similarly, yeah. there's there's also this uh, other thing called the Lock Legion. Where it's just it's the same thing with locks. I've never been too into that mm. kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I found that so cool. I accidentally stumbled upon like this piece of Newgrounds history, and yes, I eventually found the infamous B video, and I rated it five stars. <laughs> I saw that you had favorited it recently. Yeah, this fucking thing. He just <laughs> uploads B, and all of a sudden he has a cult. It's amazing. <laughs> Newgrounds, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's all the shout outs I got. I, I'm I'm sorry if it was like fucking awkward to mention Clock Crew at all, but. I thought it was just the funniest shit that there's just this cult <laughs> around this one guy who somehow got a static image of B into Newgrounds. It is something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all my shout outs. I'll do a couple. First up, this one was posted in our Discord server earlier today, I believe. Uh, which, by the way, if any of you listening at home are not in the Newgrounds podcast Discord server, what well, are you doing with now. your life? Yeah, get, come on. get in here. There's like 30 people who can who are listening to it live right now. You're missing out. Here's what was posted earlier. This is called Protein Powder by Lobster Mango. I checked it out. Protein Powder is a uh, is a fun little just short. It's the description is a dumb little short cartoon short I made, and it definitely seems like one of those things that was just like an idea popped into Lobster Mango's head, and here we are. It's <laughs> Protein uh, Powder. I like this. I like the art style. I'm not gonna lie, that's cool. It's, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's a fun style. It's got that subtle line boil, with, but it's like straight lines. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just a goofy little animation. Big shout out to Psyop by Voodoo Jin. This is one of my favorite things that I've seen on Newgrounds in a long time. Ooh. It straight up is television quality animation. You can really tell that a lot of heart and soul was poured into this. And I, f- I find it very funny. I think I think the, the s- sense of humor, the, the style quality, of yeah. it is... Yeah, it's it's really good, and I I strongly recommend that to anybody. And I Five I'm stars. looking forward to seeing more of those and just more stuff by Vidujan in general. Uh, okay, an art shout out to a uh, little tiny person by the name of Snackers. Snackers posted I was gonna Nightmare do that one, Guys. Then. Were you? <laughs> Snackers posted Nightmare Guys. It's some some fan art for uh, oh, the Nightmare upcoming Pops. game. Yeah, yeah, nicely done. I love the energy. Five stars, which is. Yeah, super super exciting, and this this art's really good. I love Snackers mm-hmm. art. And nice job, Snackers. Then I just wanted to uh, quickly mention the uh, Phaser Game Jam came to a conclusion, and the winners were posted. And I oh, wanted yeah. to give congratulations. congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I I wanted to give some some shout outs to uh, some of my favorite games from that jam. Mm-hmm. One that I did really enjoy, <laughs> and and I would like to see developed further because uh, I think the idea is funny. Is a uh, dog bark by Mo HDI. You play as a dog and you can bark, 
and it's just the the sound effect for it is just bark 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 bark. Sounds like something I gotta check out. Yeah, I I find it really funny and just I haven't played all of them. It's 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 cute and funny. Um, nice. Horizon nice. Six by Patrick O'Reilly was one that really blew me away because I I just don't even understand how it's possible that this can exist because it's uh, so it's made with phaser right and I, right. as far as i understand there is no like 3d element of phaser it's like strictly 2d I, again as far as i understand i could be very wrong about that but it's somehow patrick o'reilly pulled off this pseudo 3d thing in phaser uh, yeah I, it's and it's oh, got shit. that like classic retro arcade the, the it's sort of a vapor wavy. What did he do? Did he turn uh, 3D assets into sprites, or mm. I frankly don't know. I just I really don't understand it. It's it goes beyond mm. my capability of understanding Only on how, Browns, this is, baby. how this was done. But yeah, really really cool stuff. And then uh, of course the first place winner, Blooming, is a a great game. It's I found it really hard even after it was made easier, mm. but. Uh, that's not that's not a complaint. I, I think it was really cool. Yeah. Uh, so I just wanted to give some shout outs to to those, and uh, that'll do it. Henry, did you want to give some shout outs? Yes, I did want to give some shout outs. Uh, first of all, to elaborate on why I was congratulating you, you actually won the third place. I was closing in by Good L. I'm just gonna link that. Nicely done. Yeah, it's a game about you got you got to run out. There are two walls closing, oh, in, closing in, and and that's the game. <laughs> yeah. Here it is. Uh, I, you, you took uh, my, my art shout out, but something that probably doesn't need a shout out, but I'm still going to mention because uh, my, my friend Ryan RGP Anims uh, was in it. The One Piece collab. Uh, there's a front banner. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I, I really want to encourage people to stick through it to Sir Lenward's part in particular. I really, I really like his part. Mm. I like the style of it. I like the, the sort of action. I don't know. That's my shout out. Oh, someone's pinging me. I think I think the the chat wants to ask questions. Okay, so uh, we'll we'll th- we'll take this one. All right. Average amount of time to make an animation. Uh, it could range anywhere from ten to twenty hours. Ten hours being something like very short, like what is it, the hot dog video? But the my recent video business fucking was took a long time. It was like close to twenty hours. But uh, I really like that one. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that that's fantastic. <laughs> Check it out. Introduce me to your work to someone who hasn't seen it. All right, I've 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 been searching for a while for like a short description for my videos. I originally went with videos that happen to be three D, but I think I've boiled it down to four words: three D crackhead puppet show. There you go. Wow. On that puppet show note, actually, this is a perfect segue to get into talking about your work, which we haven't really done yeah. a lot of yet. Tom Tom Fulp described it as three uh, D puppeteering. Yeah. Um, and uh, you seem to have sort of embraced the uh, the, the puppet analogy yep. there. You've got this really cool and unique style that I can't, like, think of anything that's like it. You know what I mean? Mm. So I kind of wanted to know how you developed that style, how you kind of came into that. Right. So this actually goes into the, the question someone just asked me in chat, like, what inspires your animations? And thankfully, uh, I could say that there are a couple examples of, like, what inspired me? I think the biggest one where I like, because like I said, I've been take, spending like a long time trying to figure out a good style to make videos, like an obscenely long time. But the, the, what is it? The puppet animation thing. I got that from a very big, uh, in quotes, animation, not really animation, YouTuber named Circle Tunes HD. You've probably seen him where he just like records like with his phone, like him moving 2D drawings on like his screen drawing tablet. And I was like, oh, I, I could probably translate that into 3D. And you know, that, it worked. So that's like the main inspiration for like the puppet animation. As for like just other inspirations in general, I'd say like, what is it? As it com- when it comes to like my visual like design, I mean, there's only so much I could do with my 3D abilities. But one guy I just absolutely love who's, you know, he's actually used to go on, used to post on Newgrounds is the legendary Felix Colgrave. Fucking Double King is the best video on YouTube. If he posted that on Newgrounds, it would be oh, the best yeah. video on Newgrounds. Fucking love Double King, dude. You too. Yeah. I'm a big Felix Club. Yeah, that guy's style, just everything. Yeah, that geometric shit, I, that rubbed off on me so much. I love that. And, Especially the way he yeah. times symbols and everything, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of others off the top of my head. Um, what is it? I've just spent the, the main, ins- I guess the main inspiration for my videos is that like for my visual, the visual aspect of it, I've, I've just like spent so long, like just 
isolation trying to figure out a, a good 3D style for myself that it's kind of hard to like trace trace it back to like one inspiration because I've just like been bouncing from tutorial to tutorial for Blender 3D the software I use. So it's just kind of like this absolute mutt of a of a style that like it's it's pretty simple but you know it's just been like stewing in my head for like a, a long time you know just fucking barely play video games anymore it's just really just spending all my time free time in 3d i have like 2000 hours in blender 3d on steam help me but <laughs> but uh the actual writing part because like i'd say like half of the appeal comes from like the visual visual part but the other half comes from like the writing the things that i watch a lot of in my free time are like on top of like you know the animation side i also watch a good deal of like the live action content on youtube like gus johnson and like ian kung and like trying other bunch of other names like was it lunch club which is call me carson's group that like sort of like awkward humor from like seeing things in real life i try to emulate that sort of like real life awkwardness in my videos which is why things are like 60 frames per second and like the movements <laughs> is just like me moving my mouse in real life when i animate it which is why it feels like that in the puppet show like someone's actually moving in, in real life so i try to capture that try in that in my videos and that's like that's basically the best way i can break down my style that is uh one thing that i really like too is it uh, I think the best example that I can point to there, I guess there are two of uh, the things that, that you do that just really tickle me in the right way are uh, in new shower when the shower starts rotating and it's like <laughs> clipping through the planes <laughs> like make up the crap. Yeah. That's like, that's something that I really love is that a animation in general, but particularly 3D animation where you can get like so close to realism yeah. and then just totally yeah, just break, break the it. rules. You know what I mean? That's, I love yeah. it. And then the other example is in, uh, what is it called? Two, 2000s? 2010s, 2010s childhood, yeah. Yes, 2010s childhood, thank you. When mm -hmm. the, with the walls, the part where the character like just grabs the wall and there's just nothing is amazing to me. It's so funny <laughs> and like bizarre. Yeah. Like I don't even know how you would think of something like that. So I just think those are good examples of, of the, the kind of stuff you do that just really works, you know, makes, makes your style what it yeah, is. Yeah, that twofold part, like, you know, half being like, oh, the 3D looks nice and I don't see 3D a lot. And then the other half being, oh, the it has, like, that sort of writing that you feel like, that you see, like, scuffed YouTube skits nowadays. Like, the fact that I, like, say, set up this art style, which feels, like, realistic of, like, actual puppets in real life moving around. Then if I run out of things to do, I could just sort of break that reality and just throw everyone off by rotating the shower. That's, like, a thing I love to, like, you know, fall back on in case I can't think of anything else to put in the video. But, yeah. So, what is a... I'm curious about your, your process, then. You'd mentioned that you use Blender. Yes. Are there other tools in your arsenal? And what, what, I guess in general, what does your process look like from conceptualization to finished product? All right. So for like for a while, I really didn't have a definite process, but now it's kind of boiled down to a formula. Usually, it starts out with I think of an of an idea, and I like write it down in the idea book for me to like stew on later and then when it comes comes time for me to like write a new video which is like usually the friday or saturday after i just released a video on thursday i go through the idea book i find something i crack open notepad and i just try to hash out a script then i take that script over to audacity and like just uh record lines and arrange it if i need someone if i want to get a guest voice on or if i need someone else's voice i send them lines like a day before and then i add those to the audacity shit and then i go on the amazing freesound.org get a bunch of sounds put it all together then the audio is done the rest of the video happens all entirely inside blender i try to do everything within blender so whenever i hit render video it's just done i just got to put all the images together in like a video editing program like premiere or whatever slap on the audio and then it's just you know ready to go yeah that's basically how my my process usually goes and uh i probably should elaborate more on like the blender part the most the most draining thing for me to do in blender is uh is a uh, modeling it's because i'm just kind of a very weak i guess 2d artist and artists in general i really like making the video more than the actual modeling thing but i do do my best to try to like make something visually interesting with like the limited energy i have and uh once that's done the fun part is you know animating where i there's a little feature on blender where if you turn it on and you like hit play on like the animation thing and you like move objects around it records like the movements that happen in real time just gotta remember to turn it off later but that's how i get like the the mouse movement animation because you know it's just literally me moving my mouse to the audio playing at the same time and then yeah i think that's everything yeah but i've been using blender for fucking so goddamn long every day that i'm just it's just kind of like it just kind of like in and out for me with like making videos you know it's just that makes sense <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I actually missed a couple questions. If if, if you want to like wrap up on this part before I like 
catch these two questions that I just missed in like the bot chat. I've got uh, two last questions, and then uh, yeah, yeah. and then I'll just kind of give everybody free reign. If Henry's got more questions, he can go for mm-hmm. that or whatever. I noticed that at the in the early days of you having this account, yes, um, a lot of your videos. Uh, well, and the thing is, I, I say a lot, but at the time there there weren't many. But um, some some of your videos were were largely meme based, you know, mm-hmm. uh, like Roofman or like uh, like that boy. And then I feel like lately you've started to transition or shift more to more toward uh, original skit yeah. ideas. Uh, was that sort of an intentional move, or do yes. you think that okay? Uh, why? Uh, originally, when I started out. I had this mindset of thinking, all right, I got to get people's foot in the door to start this channel going. So I like tried to build video ideas around existing memes just so I could like hook people in first. And then what was really bothering me at the time was because how much time I was spending on each video, which was like one video a month. It was really, it was really draining to spend so much time on like a video that's just about like a funny green frog with, with legs or like just or, you know, that boy, which granted the video still came out great, but it didn't feel very fulfilling. So eventually I had to sit down and like, all right, if I, if, if I focus my energy on just memes, I, I really, I'm really going to feel unfulfilled in my work. So I decided to just focus more on like doing original stuff, which I want to do, but making it like really, really just like quick to make. So I don't, so I don't get burned out on an idea again, because not only cause like, you know, YouTube likes quantity, but I try to, I try to like not spend so much time on each single video, because if I spend too much time on one video, I just really just crash and burn. And it's just like, I finished the video. I was like, ugh, I hate this fucking thing. I've been looking at it for like goddamn 30 hours. Like the, like the dat boy video, which came out amazing looking back on it. But when I first finished it, I was like, fuck, I hate, I hated working on that thing so much. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Also uh shout out to, to, to the chat right now. I, I'm, 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 I'm like reading a message like every now and then, and I wish I could re- read all of it, but I, I, I thank you for everyone being here. And uh, yeah, if you have a question, just ping me. I'll, I'll see it. I'll try to get to it. I'll have, uh, my last my last question here for you. Mm-hmm. Is Andy and Bulb ever going to get a follow-up? Yes, but I can't do it while I'm in college. I've, I've tried to like find room for it, but the thing with Andy and Bulb, because it's like the very first video I made when I was trying to get back into making videos under the name uh, uh, Wavetro, was that that video not only could I make work on it because I decided to also lump it in as like an assignment for one of my college classes, but that video took like three months, like... And I remember one time I pulled an all-nighter to just finish one scene. And that's not even half of the stuff I want to do with the series. So if I ever get back to it, which I will, it'll it'll be a... It's going to be a while because I really want to go somewhere crazy with it. All right. Um, I'll turn it over to, to the audience if you want to take some more audience questions. All right. Let me get those missing two questions. So Tony Studios asks, what is your first animation? That is a great question. I'll have to navigate over to my old YouTube channel to get it real quick. All right. Here's my first ever animation. You know, the first thing ever time I used the animation feature in Blender, which was August 25th, 2014 on my old robot underscore channel called first animation. Wow. So pro I could work for Pixar. Holy crap. Is this real? And it's just a box guy and his head flies off. Now that seconds. is a title. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Read this out loud. I am Wave Tro, the wave to your tro. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> also, why you have no news posts? Uh, I try not to clutter. I, I'm really hesitant on using news posts on Newgrounds because just because the section is so enormous that it kind of like whenever I want someone to click on my profile, I really want them to go to like the video section. But, you know, the news section is so big. So I try to really avoid using that thing. How old are you doing cartoons? I first made stop motions and posted them on YouTube when I was like 10. But then when I like turned 13, I was like, this fucking sucks. And I started to pick up Blender under the new name Robot Underscore. And then it's just been history since. I have to ask you, were those uh, Lego stop motions? No, they used a, a, uh, it used a toy called Go-Go's Crazy Bones, uh. which was actually like, it was actually surprising because that toy was really niche and only like existed for like six months in the u.s but for whatever whatever reason there were people on youtube looking for stop motions of those of, i of had a those, million of, of that those. toy yeah it, it's it's an old toy but you know it was it, it was it was a it was really cool to see at the time that people were actually actively looking for videos like that and that's what inspired me you know keep making videos and then go into 3d and all that we want to take a couple more audience questions and then we can uh, yeah. wrap this last up. chance yeah last chance ping me if you have a question and i'll answer it LBG, how do you pronounce it? LBGN, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that. LBGN asks, do you drink tea? Usually I drink tea if I'm like forced to pick between tea and coffee. I usually just drink water, but you know, sometimes I drink tea. Tea's all right. Any tips for staying motivated while animating? Oh, that's a fucking amazing question. Okay, so in all my years I spent staring at Blender and trying to figure out my shit, 
and uh, all that. I'd say if you ever get tired doing what you do, be sure every now and then to step back and ask yourself, do I like what I'm doing right now? You know, and that, that was like a question I had to ask myself a while ago when I was first learning Blender and I was trying to pick up on like, you know, the traditional art thing of like, you know, sculpting anatomy and like, you know, realism. And I was like, I stepped back and I was like, do I actually like doing this part? What if I just take what I already know and just like go to the video making part already, you know? So just always remember to just That's like... That's a good way to look at it. And if you like what you're doing, if you like say, I like what I'm doing, I'm just tired, then, you know, just just take a break for a bit. And if you want to figure out how to work faster then just think about that when you're not in the middle of a project you know that's 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 my advice uh so i do actually end up having a question and it's kind of kind of related to that where do you see yourself in the next few years what's the the big wave trope plan oh you want to know my evil plan the huh? wave trope plan yes well i plan on making videos every week for a very long time i mean i would like to i hope i can keep doing that and on if some by some freak miracle figure out how to make it a full-time job you know that's like the dream you know if once if i ever do get to that point what would be like the final phase of of wave trail the answer would be like just full length videos maybe even coordinate stuff with other animators you know just like <laughs> just go bigger in uh, general a full, you know? maybe one full day. length feature length uh puppet uh 3d movie <laughs> maybe not even puppet maybe even actual animation you know maybe maybe <laughs> how do you brainstorm your animations I don't have any ideas in my moist brain to animate. Yeah, okay. The, the, great question, because I was stuck in that spot, too. Really, the answer is the best ideas are usually, are usually ones that you sit on for a while. So you really have to get in this habit where, like, any sort of thing you, like, you see throughout the day or on YouTube, like, like for example, uh, I once saw a meme where it's Wario in front of a Chromebook cart says, I am putting my Chromebook in the wrong slot, right? And I was saying, ah, oh, that'd be funny. What if I did a video about Chromebooks? And I write it down in the idea book, and then I just and then I just leave it alone for a bit. So that way, when I come back to it again in like a month or two, I look at it and maybe I'll have better ideas of how to expand on it. Maybe that idea, maybe a different idea. But like I have like ten other ideas in here. Really, the the the, the way to the, uh, the answer, what I'm trying to say is just start collecting like just tiny ideas, tiny places to start like throughout the day, throughout the week. And just let them all pile up. And then when you want to start making things regularly, just like go through that idea book and just start thinking of places to start and then try your very best to build off of those. Maybe even combine some of those because like just collecting those ideas and just like letting them sit is way better than just like never th like th having a great idea, forgetting it later, and then you try to sit down and make a video and you got nowhere to start. How regularly do you uh, write in your idea book? The best time to do it is like after you finish a, a, a video and you're taking a break and you're like doing other things. Always make sure to have like t a time to do that because like when you're not thinking about working on a project is the best time to think of ideas because you know you're not thinking about oh I have I have to do all this animation tomorrow you know you're just kind of like free you're floating around you're laughing on memes on Twitter you're wasting your life on YouTube like me but uh the fucking uh yeah that's the, the best time to just like you know when you, things you see throughout the day like oh that'd be a great thing for the idea book and you just kind of write it down. Yeah. That is yeah. some very good advice. Okay. Well, thank, thank you. you, everybody, for showing up. I hope you I all love all enjoyed, of you. Uh, thank you so much. Enjoyed listening in. Uh, thank you, Wavetro, for, for coming on the show. Uh, I or had a Wave lot Tro. of fun. Or Wavetro. I did, too. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, it was good, to, good to talk to you, good to hear your thoughts. I'm glad that you decided you wanted to be on. So, yeah. thank you. Thank, thank you, Wavetro. It's a pleasure. All right. All well, right. everybody, cool. we'll see you all next time. That concludes the first guest interview of the Newgrounds podcast. We hope that you enjoyed the episode. Once again, if you'd like to tune into the live recordings of these episodes, you can join our Discord server at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. Follow us on Newgrounds at the Newgrounds Podcast .newgrounds.com and find us on Twitter at the NG Podcast. Leave a review on this episode and there's a chance that we might read it at the start of the next episode. And just a reminder that we're still looking for additional hosts for the show. So if you were listening to this and you felt like you might like to be a part of this, you think that you would make for a good host for this show, send me a PM on Newgrounds and include a link to a demo where you list three things. First of all, who you are. Second, why you think that you would be a good fit for this show or why you would want to do it. And third, tell us what your favorite joke is. Thanks again for listening. We hope that you'll tune in to the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.